Lesson number two, still in standard form, the objectives of this lesson is by the end of the lesson, we must be able to convert standard form expressions into fractions and then convert those fractions into decimals. Let's look at the first example. It's given that 2 times 10 to the power minus 4 into a decimal number. How can we convert this? We say 2 times, we know that uh, 10 to the power minus 4 is the same as 10 to the power, it is same as 1 over 10 to the power 4, I mean. It therefore means, this will stand like this. 2 over 1 times 10 times 1 over 10 to the power 4. Which therefore means 2 times 1, this will be 2 over the denominator, 1 times 10 to the power 4, it remains 10 to the power 4. We know that the index of 10 denotes the numbers of 0 after 1, therefore it means 2 over 10,000. We have 4 zeros after 1. Therefore it means 2 divided by 10,000 is 0, 0, 0, 0, 2. Next example, 5,1 times, times 10 to the power minus 3, we repeat the same process, 5,1 over, five, 1 over 1 times 1 over 10 to the power 3, which therefore means 5,1 1, 1 over 10 to the power 3. 5,1 over 10 to the power 3, it's same as 1000. Therefore, it means 5,1 divided by 1000. 0, 0, 0, 0,0051. This will be our final answer. Next, we are going to look at adding and subtracting numbers in standard form.